Welcome to this Calibre Getting Started Guide. In this video, we're just going to quickly explore the interface and look at some of the different things you can do in Calibre. If you don't already have Calibre installed, it's available for free for Windows, Linux, and Mac. You can download it and check out our other videos showing how to do that. When you first open Calibre, it looks like this. We have a quick start guide here, which is uh, kind of like a book. It's an ebook. It's some text we can uh, look at. And if we want to do that, we can just double click on it and it'll bring up a window with the reader right in our computer and we can read this ebook, which is really just the guide, the information getting started. We can go from page to page by using the arrow keys up and down and left and right, even page up and page down. And if we want to get to some more options, we can hit the escape key on our keyboard to toggle viewing more options. We can also hit the right click mouse button on our mouse to bring up those same options. We can go into full screen mode or we can change the font size of what we're reading. If we want to get out of this, we can just click the X and all of our books are going to appear here. By default, we just have one. Um, across the top, we can add a book. So if we left click on this add book, it'll bring up a dialogue on our computer and ask us what book we want to add. Um, we can add all kinds of different versions. We can add PDF, um, different file formats are supported. I have an EPUB and a Mobi version here of, this is the book White Fang I downloaded uh, just now. And so we can import that. And then we see this book is here. We can double click and we can start reading this book. So we see this is what the cover looks like. We can use the arrow keys to read this on our computer. We can also make adjustments to it so we can edit this book. We can get into the metadata editor. We can right click to get more options on each book. So we can send this to a device, for example. If we had our e-reader plugged in, we could send it right to our device. We could save it to our computer. So we could save it uh, in a different location on our computer. Uh, there's some other options here as well. We can remove the book so we can take it out of our library. This will just remove it from uh, the program. Or we could also remove it completely from our computer by navigating to that file and deleting it. Uh, what else can we do? We can get books another way. We can click up here on this Get Books. It just tells us information about DRM, so this is this digital rights management, um, and it's good to read through that and understand it. But for example, we could search for this same book by just searching White Fang, and this is a good example because it's one that does not have DRM restrictions. It's a very um, open book in the public domain, um, this particular version. And so we click search here and it'll uh, search through lots of popular websites such as Amazon and Barnes and Noble and all these different sites. Uh, and we can find a certain book. If we find a different version of this book that we want, um, looks like these are from, not sure if these are in English or not. Um, there's different language languages we can get. But if we find a book that we want, we can just uh, click on that book oh, and double click and it'll take us to the website. We can read more about it. Or if we hit stop now, uh, once this is our, once this is here, we can select a certain book, and it says zero dollars. This is an EPUB format, and so we could download this book by just right-clicking and going to download, and then it'll, it'll download this into our library. It looks like we already have it here, and so it might show a, a separate version. Um, and it's down here. This jobs is showing us that it's downloading. It's now finished, and now we have this book a second time in our library. Looks like um, the publishing date is a little bit different on these, and some of the metadata might be different. For example, the cover in the bottom left-hand corner appears to be different uh, with this one. If we want to convert it, so if this book doesn't work with our e-reader, this is an EPUB format, we can click up here to convert the book from one format to another. So we can say the input format is EPUB. We can change the output format to maybe PDF if we wanted to read this in a PDF view or make it more compatible for a, a laptop or reading on a computer or embedding in a website. We can even export it as HTML if we do want to put it on a website. Um, we could um, do like a docx if we want to be able to edit this uh, using like LibreOffice or a word editor. We could do this Mobi. And so there's lots of different options we have. And we can even change some of the options of this book. This gets a little bit more advanced. But there's all kinds of things we can change in the process of converting the book as well. We can edit just the metadata, so we can change the title, the author, the year it was published. We can change what the cover looks like. And if you have a book that's missing some metadata, you can use this download metadata feature, and it'll actually search by the title and the author and find information, uh, some metadata about this book from the internet. And it's taking a little while to do that now, but we have all these different options, so we could choose and we could say, actually, this book we downloaded is really this one right here. 
and we can say OK, and we can update, and we can choose cover art, for example, if the cover is supposed to look like this. So if there's ever a discrepancy with your book, you can update um, metadata uh, by using this uh, metadata editor as well. So some really good built-in tools. Another cool thing we can do is we can grab news. So we go to fetch news, and we can grab news from all these different, um, well, we choose our language. So if we do like, um, it says how many there are. So English, there's 430 different sources. So we can schedule to download this news. We schedule and say how often we want to download it uh, and then how often we want to keep it in our library. And we can download it and then send it to our specific e-reader. So it'll be formatted so we can read it in our e-reader or we can just read it right here on the computer. Well, that's probably all I'm gonna do for now for getting started. I may make some more videos in the future talking about some specific features like converting books or creating your own eBooks, which you can also do. Oh, I guess I should say over here on the side, we have different tags now that we've brought in different books. When we have a whole library, we might have hundreds or thousands of books, we can search through by different tags like action adventure. We'll only show the action adventure books. There's different ratings. We can search by a certain publisher. Uh, we can search by different book formats if we have multiple formats or even the language or the authors. So there's all kinds of different ways to um, query and look through our different books in our library as well. Well, thanks for watching, guys. And I know it's just a quick overview, but go ahead and leave questions and comments below if you have them. And I look forward to catching you in the next video.